Now to climate change. And one popular ski town is converting methane from a nearby coal plant and turning it into usable electricity. Our Rob Marciano went to Aspen, Colorado to check it out. Coal burning power plants and gas burning cars. These are the marquee demons propelling human caused global warming. And for ski towns across the globe, including Aspen, Colorado, the reality of climate change is already taking a toll. The winters are getting shorter by about a half a day a year. So when you shorten the ski season, you're, you're taking money out of the people's pockets that, that work in the this industry. The whole economy is driven off of that. The snow sports industry adds over $20 billion to the U.S. economy every year. Aspen Ski Company alone has over 1.5 million skier visits, using 40 lifts, visiting 16 restaurants, and staying at three different hotels. And yes, the company uses a lot of energy, but it wanted a cleaner way to get that power. If you want to deal with climate, all the smart people say you have to deal with methane. Methane accounts for 11% of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions from human activity, mostly from agriculture, landfills, and the mining of coal. One of the dangers with coal mine is that digging up coal causes it to release methane gas, and that's a problem. It's toxic for the miners, it tends to explode. So mines like this one have these sophisticated uh, ventilation systems that suck the methane out and eject it into the sky. That's a problem, obviously, because methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. Both active and retired coal mines release methane into the air, including one not far from Aspen. From as deep as 2,500 feet underground, those black pipes are carrying the methane gas that's being used to make electric power. We realized coal mine methane was not being utilized to the potential. The methane that's trapped in this mine now has to go somewhere where would it go if, if this power plant wasn't here? It would go to the atmosphere. And that's bad because methane has 86 times the warming power of carbon dioxide. We get an up close look at how this power plant is using something so harmful for a good purpose. So these generators you got going here, they're creating electricity from methane gas. Yes. So how much methane are we taking out of the atmosphere. We're taking 700,000 cubic feet a day. What does that equate to? Equivalent to like 20,000 cars running continuously. For a year? For a year. Wow. It's good for the environment. It makes a lot of sense. You know, historically, we've done a very poor job of coal mining, of not taking care of methane emissions. We've been concentrating on just releasing it, pumping it to atmosphere as a safety measure, whereas we should have implemented rules and, and encouragement regulations to be doing this all over the country. Chris Kasky, managing director of the energy firm responsible for the project, says this successful operational model can be replicated across the U.S. We don't see as many coal retired mining operations like this. Yeah. Why is that? Well, when coal regulations were first written, no one was thinking about climate change and methane was just considered a waste gas. But now that we're looking more closely at climate change, more closely at methane, these coal mines are starting to get more attention. So every little bit of methane that we take out of the ground and use it for power in this case is a whole lot more CO2. Yeah. Yeah. And the critical thing to realize is that this methane would be leaking out anyway. Behind us is a capture facility and it's preventing that methane from reaching the atmosphere. What does the future look like? in your eyes. Do you think we'll see more of this happening across the country? I think we will see more of this happening across the country, yeah. The energy generated from this methane goes directly into Colorado's electrical grid, operated by Holy Cross Energy. Our challenge was how do we get the clean energy into our portfolio without it costing any more? And we've been able to do that. We've actually been able to <laughs> save money on our power bills for the power that we purchase, which is about half of what people pay. And that allows us to invest in the infrastructure, in cybersecurity, in grid modernization, in wildfire protection in this increasingly dry west. Back at the top of Aspen Mountain, there's a sculpture of a melting ski gondola. What's the message you're trying to get across to the skiers and boarders here with this piece of art? We want to be in business forever. And in order to do that, we need to deal with climate change. We also wanted to show people that it's economically viable because the EPA says, Hey, there's a bunch of these mines all over the U.S. that could benefit from a project like this. And we want people to copy us because, again, if you want to deal with climate, you need to deal with methane. And this is a way to do that that's efficient, 
that's scalable and that's profitable. Everybody wins, but the biggest winner is the environment. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.